outspoken member of parliament for Norton, Temba Mliswa, independent, said the majority of church leaders in Zimbabwe are fake. Mliswa made the remarks after African Apostolic Church, AK, founder and leader Archbishop Paul Mwazwa reportedly instructed his followers to vote for ZANU-PF in elections, failure of which they will be dechurched. In an undated video circulating on social media, an unidentified man wearing President Emerson Nangagwa's trademark Zimbabwean scarf told a gathering of Mwazwa church members that the archbishop had said that all congregants who vote against ZANU-PF will be excommunicated. Mliswa said it is not surprising that local church leaders offer their followers to ZANU-PF because they selfishly get farms and cash, among other things from the ruling party. Mliswa tweeted. After the pronouncements allegedly made to Mwazha church members to support ZANU FP or be expelled, it's now safe to say most of the local church leaders are fake. They are willing to support ZANU PF for their own benefit, while their congregants are suffering. They benefit farms, money, etc., yet they don't tell the leaders the truth about their governance. During Mugabe's time they got many things, while talking bad about Ed, now that he is in power they have changed sides and are bootlicking him for personal benefits. Quantum Mwaza, at Mwaza's church, they abuse little children safe in the knowledge nothing will happen to them. It seems the real churches are the traditional ones such as Methodist, Roman Catholic etc. who are able to stand and say the truth to leaders. Recently, the church's chairperson for publicity Bishop Guadarera Javing was said its members will continue to vote for the ruling party in national elections. A top leader in the Johan Maso Echeshanu Apostolic Sect, Anbi Makiruru last week said that he is fully behind President Emerson Nangagwa and will vote for ZANU-PF in the 2023 elections.